With Harley-Davidson's new motorcycle releases overnight, we've already covered the Fast Johnny collection. Today we're looking at the Electroglide Highway King. If you weren't aware, I was a big fan of Harley-Davidson's Electroglide Revival. So I'm so pleased to see this style of bike coming back again in their Icons collection for anyone who missed out on the Electroglide Revival. Let's hear what Harley has to say about this particular model. Harley says, our third release in the Icons Motorcycle Collection, the 2023 Electroglide Highway King, is inspired by the beloved era of long-haul scenic adventures. Inspired by our iconic 1968 FLH Electroglide, Highway King merges classic styling with modern comfort and performance. The Highway King embodies the nostalgia of the cherished two-lane road trip. And I think that about sums it up. I could literally see myself on this motorcycle, as I could the Electroglide Revival. That sprung seat, sitting up taller than normal seats would be a very comfortable place to be, and especially if you're a taller rider. I'll put a link to my Electroglide Revival video at the end of this one, and you can see what a taller rider looks like on that bike. But from what I've seen, this would be a fantastic bike for a taller rider. Of value to me also is that screen and those bags. Perfect for the sort of running around I like to do. And it features a 114 engine, which is more tuned for torque rather than horsepower. I have heard the 117 can be a bit more of a horsepower engine than the 114. But having said that, I've ridden neither engine. I really, really appreciate the styling of this bike and it just speaks to me with its chrome trims, chrome bag protection, and even the way they've tinted that uh, front windscreen. I think it looks Fantastic. Let's see if this bike is on the Harley Davidson Australia website. Heading over to the Harley Davidson Australia website, you'll need to go to your own website in your country to get the exact specifications because believe it or not, horsepower and torque can vary from country to country, as well as pricing, obviously. Seeing the bike front and centre on the website tells me this is an important model for Harley Davidson. Let's see the bike. The first thing I want to see is the colour options. Now this is a one-time release and numbered collection of 1,750 motorcycles. So once those bikes are gone, they're gone. Now in Australia, interestingly, it looks like we only get one colour option, and that's the Hi-Fi Orange slash Birch White. I love the white wall tyres. I think they look absolutely fantastic on this motorcycle. And starting at $42,995, that's actually cheaper than the Road Glide ST and the Street Glide ST by about $5,000 Australian. That's actually not too bad buying, I think. Still just out of my price range, but oh, oh so tempting. I just want to check the Harley Davidson US site and see if there is, yeah, there is. It looks like there are two color options for the US. So market to market may see different color variations. Yeah, here we go. So in the US, you can get the Hi-Fi Orange slash Birch White or Hi-Fi Magenta slash Birch White. Very interesting. Personally, I like the Hi-Fi Orange Birch White selection, but this is still a very nice colour. And I think the white bags really set the bike off. I'd love to test ride this bike with that seat. So in the US, you're looking at $26,999 US dollars. I wish that was Australian dollars. Back over to the Australian site, 1,750 units. I wonder how quickly they'll sell. So what do you think? Do you like the new Electroglide Highway King as much as I do? And how do you think this bike compares to the new Fast Johnny collection? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching my Harley Davidson Electroglide Highway King video. I recently covered the Johnny Fast collection as well, and I'll link both those videos here right now for you to watch. Thanks for watching this video today, and until next time, bye for now.